Yo, what's up guys? Felix from Giant Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to reveal to you guys my brand new 2019 Kawasaki Ninja 650. So I literally just bought this thing two days ago and today was officially my first ride. I just tried to record this video, but I underestimated how loud this thing actually was while just sitting in neutral and I couldn't hear myself talking, especially while having this helmet on. So I tried to grab some footage with my GoPro, but I think either the SD card is not in there or the battery's dead because it simply won't turn on and it turned on the day I rode home from the dealership, but for some reason it wouldn't record. So I'm definitely excited to make moto vlogs, but I want to, and I'm actually going to be calling my moto vlogs the six figure moto vlogger with a sick intro of me like leaving the bank and then as I'm leaving the bank, a bunch of cash is coming out of my exhaust, spelling out the six figure moto vlogger. It's gonna be dope. I'm just waiting for a designer to basically match my vision and create it for me. But this is the bike. I have no motorcycle experience. The first ride I ever had was home from the dealership, which was probably about, I don't know, 10 miles. I had my buddy follow me in his Maserati, which is a pretty cool car. If you guys want to see a car review, you can click somewhere on the screen where I reviewed the car. And then today I rode it around and I rode it to my cousin's July 4th party. But this is the bike, um, really just learning the all the controls at the same time, the clutch, the shift, the brake, uh, learning the throttle, all that stuff. But I want to basically turn it around, show you guys what I'm dealing with because this thing is awesome, man. It's so fun to you know just throw into second, throw into third gear. I haven't been to fourth gear yet and just rip that throttle because uh, man, you gotta have fun in life. You gotta enjoy things. And I've been grinding hard. I got a lot of projects going on. Um, all three of my businesses are booming and I decided to reward myself. And if you're looking about, if you're thinking about buying a really fast car versus a really fast bike, this thing was only $7,400. I put 1500 down and I financed the rest um, simply because, and I actually did it under a family member's name because I have a lot of projects going on. I have two deals I'm working on, a refinance, and then I'm gonna buy a house with an FHA, so I don't want anything on my credit. Um, so once I buy my houses, I'll just refinance a loan out in my name. But this is the bike, man. I wanna show you guys what it looks like because um, it's badass. So this is my helmet. The helmet feels very, very snug. It's not supposed to be moving on your head too much. Um, and as you can see, it has a face shield, a clear face shield, and then my GoPro is right here. So I believe once I actually have the um, GoPro all charged up, I'll be able to capture some really awesome footage. Now let me show you guys the bike. So here's the bike. I was originally going to get a blue color, but I ended up getting a black color with this you know, green trim, which in the end i think is better because my logo for giant lifestyle is green as you can see it does have the 650 there and if you just look at this thing man this thing is fire um it has this back seat right here which you could put a passenger but i think i'm just going to learn you know the fundamentals of the bike first and then i'll see if i want to put a passenger on the back but as it as you can see it has that ninja logo right here and this is like the dash as you can see it has the speedometer um, the neutral, it'll also show you what gear you're in. It shows you the time. And as you can see, this is a brand new bike. It only has 31 miles on it. Um, it shows you the heating and cooling and then how much fuel you actually have. Um, and then that's basically what it is. But man, it's really, really fun to drive. Um, and uh, that's that. So something that I researched in depth before actually buying the bike is should I get a 300, a 400, a 500, a 600, a 7 or a 1000 cc bike. And keep in mind before riding this bike which only has 30 miles, I got the bike brand new with no miles on it. I took the basic riders course which is also a written test and a skills test. Before that, I literally have no motorcycle experience. When I was from the ages of like 11 to 14, I had a electric scooter that used to go up to 25 miles an hour but you can't even compare that because this has a clutch and so many different components that you know go into it when operating the motorcycle so an electric scooter with a motorcycle is two different ball games but for somebody like myself who never rode a mo motorcycle besides the basic riders course and then jumping on a 650 riding it off the lot and then you know riding it around for maybe you know 15 miles today i don't see the bike being you know too big some people say start on a 300 or start on a 650 and while i can't really be the judge of that because i feel like i don't have that much experience i will say that i don't see the bike being too hard to control i'm still learning the process of 
shifting up, shifting down, and just, you know, building that muscle memory. It's just like riding a regular old bike. Once you ride a regular bike and you don't ride in years, you can jump back on the bike and, you know, have no problem. I feel like that is how it goes with a motorcycle. You just have to build that muscle memory. But I'm glad that I got the 650. It is a challenge, but, you know, people say with the 300, you might get bored. And like I said, I don't have that much experience to make a call on that. But you should be challenged in anything you do. Hobby, sport, even though it can be dangerous and it could be life altering if you're not careful, you should be challenged in anything you do. Hobby, sport, it should always make you nervous or make you on your toes. If it's too easy, then that's really when the dangerous things could happen. So that's just my two cents when it comes to, should you get a 300, a 600, a 650? I got the 650. Maybe it's a little bit challenging for the beginning, but I think it's something that I'll really grow into and really learn to love. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. More moto vlogs on the way. Also, if you guys are interested in business, how I build a, a different business that I own, also, if you guys are interested in business, you can check out my channel. I have you know, probably 200 videos plus on business. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm very close to 2,500 subscribers. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.